Hello, this is Andy from the Engineers Academy and in this video series we're going to be looking at worked solutions to the Unit 1 Engineering Principles exam which will be sat by students studying BTEC Level 3 Nationals in Engineering. Now the document that we're going to be referring to today are the sample assessment materials that are or have previously been provided on the Edexcel website and the document that we're going to be referring to in particular is Issue 1 of the sample assessment materials. Question 4 provides us with the following scenario. The total noise level of three compressors can be represented by the equation log 24 equals log z plus 2 log 2, where z is the unknown noise level of the third compressor. And the question states, solve the equation to find the noise level of the third compressor, show evidence of the use of the laws of logarithms in your answer. So first of all, it's important to remind ourselves of the laws of logarithms. So I'm just going to switch documents, and here we have one of the Engineers Academy equation sheets. And just at the bottom there, we have three laws of logarithms that we're going to be applying. Now the first one that we're going to be referring to is the one at the bottom there that states that log a to the n equals n log a. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a term in the form n log a, and we're going to convert it into the form log a to the n. So if we switch back to our question, the term that I'm referring to specifically is this 2 log 2 term. So let's start with our equation. We have log 24 equals log z plus 2 log 2. But we've just said that n log a is the same as log a to the n. Therefore, we can rewrite this to say that log 24 equals log z plus, if n log a is the same as log a to the n, then we can rewrite this as log 2 to the power 2, or log 2 squared. Well, 2 squared is just 4, so we can rewrite this yet again to state that log 24 is log z plus log... 4, because 2 squared is just 4. Now the thing that we're trying to find z is tied up in this expression here. So I need to get that expression on its own. And I'm going to do that by subtracting log 4 from each side. So now we're going to get log z equals log 24 minus log 4. So all I've done there is isolate the term that contains the variable we're trying to find. Now if we switch back to our log laws, the one that we're going to be applying next is this one here, where it states that log A minus log B is the same as log A over B. And returning to our question, we see that we have something in that form, log 24 minus log 4. So let's rewrite again, and this time we're going to have log z equals log, and instead of log 24 minus log 4, we're going to write that as log 24 over 4, using that second log law. Well, 24 divided by 4 is just a number. 24 divided by 4 is 6. So now we can see that we have log z equals log 6. And hopefully from that point it shouldn't be too much of a jump to realise that z just equals 6. So our final answer, z equals 6. Now just before we move on I want to show you a really quick easy way of checking your answer. And all it relies on you recalling is that log to base 10 of x has an inverse and the inverse of log to base 10 of x is just 10 to the power x. Now what we can do is we can rearrange our original expression that states that log 24 equals log z plus 2 log 2. And we can rearrange it so it appears in the form log z, which is the thing we're trying to find, equals log 24 minus 2 log 2. Now log 24 minus 2 log 2 is just a number, therefore log z 
when we solve that in our calculator is 0 0.7782. And that's accurate to four decimal places. Therefore, Z is just 10 to the power of 0 0.7782. Well, 10 to the power of 0 0.7782 gives us the value of 6 that we achieved using log laws. Now, what I've just shown you there can only be used as a check because the question specifies using log laws in your answer. So what we have at the bottom there is the correct solution and what we have in red there is just a way that you can check that your final answer is accurate.